What's going on guys? Kilo here with MaddenTurf.com and in this video we're going to be doing a little promo for our MaddenTips.tv subscription service guys. You can access it by going to MaddenTurf.com and clicking MaddenTipsTV up in the upper right corner or you can go ahead and type MaddenTips.tv right into your browser. Um, and basically what this is guys is every week we upload five tips and uh, you know I mean that's 20 tips a month, 25 sometimes depending on how the months fall I believe. Um, but every Tuesday five tips. And you guys can see how many videos are on the channel. Right now, currently, we have uh, over 160 videos and over 20 hours of content. Now, that does include some Madden 15 stuff, guys, from last year. So, you know, it's not all Madden 16 stuff. But the Madden 16 stuff builds as every week goes by because we had five new videos every week. Now, this month, I've been working on a New Orleans Saints mini scheme. Um, and I'm going to try to do that every month, kind of focus on one specific playbook so you get an actual, like, guide-worthy scheme every month. Um, and this is going to be a little free scheme to kind of promo that scheme. Uh, so the formation that we're going to be dealing with is going to be gun doubles, Y flex offset weak. That's a mouthful. Those are the three plays we're going to be working with guys. Saints mesh wheel inside zone and PA read. Uh, the first play that we're going to come to the line in is going to be the Saints mesh wheel. This is an absolutely great play guys for, you know, a, a nice little quick hair option, nice little skinny post, nice little, um, I don't know, kind of like a deep mesh concept over the middle. It's not really a mesh concept because nobody's actually rubbing, but kind of like a, a nice little crossing concept over the middle. And then we have our right receiver, which we can do whatever you want with them. You can put them on a slant, you can put them on a streak, you can put them on an out, you can put them on a smoke screen. Really whatever you prefer is what you want to do with that right receiver. Um, I personally like the smoke screen the best because if they do happen to be in zone, generally that flat won't get out there and it's a real easy five yards just to throw in the ball and, you know, run forward. Um, but the main read here is going to be the tight end off the line. If you see the tight end open off the line, you want to go ahead and try to time that throw so that you can get him behind the wheel route from the running back so that he has a blocker as he heads up field. Then our next read is going to be the crossing route from Y. You can see how he beats man coverage. He just gets inside of him. And he does get that inside position against man press also, guys, which is huge because, you know, a lot of people are having trouble beating man press. Um, but those are our two two main reads. Good throw, Whedon. Uh, we're working with Brandon Whedon right here. So we're going to have a few errant throws, but, you know, it's nothing that we can really uh, control. So it is what it is. Right here, we're throwing the smoke screen, guys. Seeing the computer in zone. So we're just going to dump it down to the smoke screen. Like I said, just catch it. Go forward a few yards. I think we're going to do it again here. See, the, it just nobody gets out there generally on that that smoke screen. So it just works out well to just, you know, if they're in zone, just throw the smoke screen immediately. Go ahead and go forward for five, six yards. Um, here we're going to go throw, excuse me, we're going to throw the tight end again. Now, also, guys, I want to make note that wheel route out of the backfield, you can actually quick hit that. Um, you don't have to, um, you know, you don't have to wait for him to make any type of break with that particular wheel route. It's not like a hot routed wheel. Um, you could pretty much throw it like right there. I could throw it if I wanted to pretty much instantly. Uh, instead, we went up top though to the skinny post. Now, the skinny post is a great route, guys, because not only does it beat zone generally or a lot of zones, it might not doesn't beat a cover four so well. But aside from that, it beats pretty much every other zone uh, with an inside lead. Then you just click on and go get it. But it also beats man very, very effectively. And if they're playing man press with no safety help, that skinny post on the left is going to be a touchdown. Um, it's one of the reasons that I love this play. It's just a phenomenal, phenomenal play, guys. Um, you know, quick, quick routes that you can throw, you know, fast if you're under pressure. And then it also has some really nice deep developing routes that can beat, uh, beat the defense pretty deep if, if need be. So right there, we went ahead and threw it and you see, you got the inside position again. That was a little bit, a little bit tighter of a throw, a little bit more dangerous, but he still had the inside position. So we felt pretty safe with it. Um, what are we going to throw to here? We're going to throw the post here again in front of the, uh, the deep zone. So, I mean, that post is awesome guys. You really need to work the, those kind of posts into your, uh, into your scheme, whatever you're running. And uh, that crossing route is also amazing right there. Like I said, gets inside position every time. Uh, makes a very, very sharp break, too. So if they're not pressing, I mean, he does tend to run away from him. And then the drag to get behind the wheel is just beautiful to go upfield with a blocker. Now, the second play that we're going to be looking at from this formation, guys, is in the audibles. It's inside zone. Now, inside zone, guys, doesn't really take a whole lot to, you know, a whole lot of uh, – breakdown to run this. I mean, it's literally just a run play. If you have the middle, uh, you want to take the middle. If you don't have the middle, bounce it outside, and generally your receivers will hold their blocks pretty well. I mean, I have Cole Beasley out there, and um, you know he's doing a fairly decent job of blocking the corner, and I'm pretty sure Cole Beasley's a pussy. So, um, you know, aside from being the GOAT, obviously. But, I mean, I think in run blocking, he's a pussy. So the fact that he's holding his block out there speaks volumes to how well the receivers are going to hold their blocks on this run. Um, right there, Kerrigan just, whew, he got off. I mean, there's nothing we can do about that. But more often than not, you if you have the middle, take the middle because it's going to be an easy five yards or so. If you don't have the middle, go ahead and bounce it outside. 
and uh, you know take up quite a few yards to the outside generally. I mean, usually you're going to be in like at least the 10 neighborhood, if not more. Uh, right there, Cole held the block like a champ, tried to cut inside the computer. Didn't really work out well, but we did break the tackle. And then the last play that we're going to look at out of this formation is going to be P.A. Reed, guys. This is also in the audibles, uh, so you want to come to the line in the Saints smash wheel. And then um, this play, what we have is we have that skinny post in the slot. Now, I love the skinny post on the outside. The skinny post is even better in the slot, though, absolutely better. Uh, what we're going to do is block our running back and put the left outside receiver on a little baby in. That gives us a high-low concept over the middle on the left side. And then we also have a crossing route coming back over on the right there with that dig route from Beasley. Uh, the wheel route to the tight end doesn't really do a whole hell of a lot, honestly. Uh, once in a while, it will beat man, and you know you can go ahead and, and throw it up top or you know outside lead it or whatever you're more comfortable with. Um, but it's not an automatic that it's going to beat man. Sometimes the man coverage does cover it, and when that happens, you want to be you know real careful that you don't try to make that throw, even though it's not really there. Um, you know, so that's pretty much the scheme, guys. Like I said, we have a whole lot of videos, five new videos every week going up on MaddenTips.tv. It's seven ninety five per month but you get a seven day free trial. Now that seven day free trial, however, is only gonna be around for a couple more days. Uh, as of October 1st, we're killing the trial and guys, to be honest with you, it's no other reason other than uh, some guy that snapped blew out in a game, got salty about it, went on there, got the free trial, got the blitz that you know we were pushing real early on in the game, got the adjustments to it, made his own video, put it on YouTube, and it's basically because of scumbags like that that we're taking away the free trial. Um, you know, because at the end of the day, I would have felt better if we at least got seven ninety five from the guy before he went and posted our shit on YouTube. Um, unfortunately, that wasn't the case. So now no more free trial as of October 1st. So if you want to get the free trial for seven days, check out what it's like before you actually have to pay for it. Go ahead and sign up in the next couple days here and, um, you know, take advantage of that free trial. Now that does not affect the guys that pre-ordered and got that free month trial. That's still good to go. You guys just need to use your coupon code. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like the scheme. Really appreciate it. Take care. Peace.